mallet so you can go over everything and see the effects of that part by yourself here I will show you the most important thing the uh, mesh insert fit and dot if you choose this one you can add to your objects more mesh parts like adding a hat to a head of character if you are create if you have already created the hat and you have it in the tools here and you already created your character you can just um, create your character inside the uh, document and go to this tool and add the hat by going to mesh insert here and choosing your hat and placing it wherever you want of course I'll remove the symmetry and the mesh is composed of multiple subdivisions levels of course the operation cancel let's go to lower level okay delete higher so you have to create it at the lowest subdivision level this way and of course you are in edit mode now if you choose any other um, any other brush and you use that brush you can affect the two objects it's good also for creating eyeballs for your character or creating teeth or something okay let's go ahead now and divide this two times let's see something interesting very interesting actually which is the rake it's like a tiger creating something by its uh, hand over that object or like RAM creating holes slash creating slashes over your character just like it is there is a wand or something you can smooth in here and there there is a wound here you can paint blood and things like that interesting another slash effect and here something very very interesting is creating the stitch stitch parts for your clothes this way it's very very interesting very good effect for creating stitches for your shoes or something also you have stitch two this type of stitch and you have stitch three and of course there is some more interesting like, tracks whoa very nice and interesting effects that you can do for your characters okay as you can see you have also the alpha channel for that type of brush which means if you choose any brush like the standard or any other brush blob clay whatever you can choose the stroke and you can choose also alpha so let's start alpha now I remove this brush let's go to alpha drag this alpha to the left shelf alpha is very very interesting alpha channels affects your brush and kind of uh, sculpting to your object so if you choose for example any alpha here suppose this lines vertical lines your brush is now drawing that alpha over your object of course you can flip horizontally you can flip vertically you can rotate that alpha and as you can see it is rotated now you are painting different types of alpha over your object by flipping it by rotating it you can also invert inverse the uh, colors of your alpha so you are doing the opposite you are digging the alpha into your object but the most important part and the biggest um, let's say um, important and uh, uh, 
the most uh, exciting part of using alphas is by creating your own alpha channels depending on programs like Photoshop and uh, using that alpha to create 3D objects inside your ZBrush. I'll show you how you can do that. I'll press Ctrl N to create a new and of course the alpha here you can import alpha uh, alpha files if you press import the import image uh, window will pop up and you can import any um, alpha file uh, BMP file, PSD file, JPEG file or TIF file uh, of course here I created PSD file which is Chinese coin and I'll press open so this alpha Chinese coin if I try to make object for this coin here inside my uh, ZBrush and I click this make 3D object using high value for resolution the resolution for my object and the mesh smoothness let's say 12 and press of course double sided if I press make 3D it will create half million polygons I'll press OK it will take some time of course once my object is created you will see this type of object this is exactly uh, the opposite of the object I want this is not what I want so I'll press Control N I'll choose my alpha channel that I imported and I press inverse so now the white color is only uh, for uh, uh, the uh, letters and of course the inside of my coin uh, is having a bit uh, gray value that will also create uh, geometry inside ZBrush document so I'll press make 3D okay half million and I will draw my object now this is the coin uh, this type of object is hard uh, to sculpt if you want to create something like this so it is very very easy to create that using alpha channels of course I can go out scale this a little bit this way so it is now realistic coin and of course I can add material to it any type of material and change the color this way brass or gold and of course something great that you you still can sculpt that object for example you choose slash create a slash in there 